Hello. Hi, I was wondering if anyone had a new house that's for sale. Oh, yes, for 50 gold you can. I got it right here. Thank you. Now, you've heard a tale, right, about that house? No, I have not. About the past owner that passed away 30 years ago. Who's the past owner? No one knows. He kept his name kind of secret, really. The last time everyone heard, the house went up in flames, and they believe three people were murdered in there. Wow. So you're saying it's hunted? Well, that's just folk story. Alright, well, I'm gonna go check in the new house then. Alright, be safe. Yep, bye. Hope this is it. Must be home. It's lights on. Hello? Is anyone here? Uh, yeah. Who is it? Uh, this is Detective Tom. Oh, yeah. Come in. I called you. Yep. Welcome to my house. Nice house. You mind if I sit down and ask you a few questions? Yeah. Alright, thank you. So, uh, y you called me kind of terribly wise. Like, you sound like you were scared or something. Like, what's been going on? Yeah, like, apparently when I bought the house three years ago, apparently this guy said there was a tale about Herobrine, like, this house, like, burned on fire or something, and then three people died in it, but I don't know how this, like, house was rebuilt, like, I don't know if the tale's true or not, but, like, I kind of been hearing some noises, too, actually, in here. It's mostly been in my bedroom. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna ask you another question. Um, have you ever seen something yet? No, I have not. All I've been hearing is weird noises lately. Alright, well it could easily just be a ghost or the wind or any of that. Let's uh, check out your house and see if, we see if I see anything. Well, you want me to give you a tour or something? Go ahead. So how long you owned this house? Three years. Three years, alright. So basically this is the living room. So has anything started up since, like, just started now, or has it been starting up since you moved here? Started, like, two months ago. Alright. But, anyway, here's my kitchen. It's where I cook stuff, of course. And up here is where uh, my bedroom you, is and, like, Have you heard anything about maybe running up these stairs? No, I have not. Alright. Then here's my bedroom. Like, this is where I've been hearing most of the noises for some reason. Like, has every the time. Has would... been flickering on and off sometimes? Actually, yeah, it has been. Alright. And, like, I don't know if it's just, like, the power company messing up or anything like that. Like, but. Who knows? Anyway, like, whenever I lay down, try to fall asleep, like, when I'm, like, about to pass out, I, like, hear something. Like, I don't know what it's saying, but, like, sounds like a creepy sound. Alright. And like, it's talking to me or something. Alright. Um, anyway. so, you call me about noises that have been going on, lights have been flickering. This does yeah. sound like there could be something in here. So, for the rest of this, I will use the camera that I have right now. I'll record some stuff, I'll go to my RV, which is... What was that? Yeah, you didn't hear that? Yeah. Yeah. About surveillance camera now? Yeah, um, my RV's outside right out there, so if you need something, I'll be right out there. I'll be here for about a week, and if I right. see something, you know, I'll tell you. I'll we'll get you out of here, basically. Alright, then. I Thanks. need the final proof to prove to the mayor and everybody else that this place is hunted. Alright. Alright, so, let's go back on the rest of the tour. Alright, well, here's my bedroom, again. Then here's my bathroom. Of course, my toilet. Anything and then, happen uh, here? No, nothing actually. Hmm. Never. I just go to a restroom. It's private, basically, in here. My shower head over there. Well, at least the ghost is disturbing you in private and moments. Now, actually, this is actually where some things are happening. I'll turn on the light for you. Thank you. So in the attic up here. Well, it looks all old and everything. So. Got cobwebs and everything, but I never got a light source installed in here yet. Like, I was thinking of it, but yeah, I never been messing around with this place for three years at all. Hmm. So, this is where I, most of the action happens? 
What? It's where most of the action happens. Kind of, yes. I hear mostly walking, like creaking. Yeah, because you are below the floor. I mean, that could be because, you know, this house is like 33 years old. So it is getting old. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. They all go back to the living room? Yeah. I can't creep out up here. So, let's say, have you seen anything outside? Like, have you gone outside anywhere and has something happened to you? Have you, like, has basically, like, something touched you or hurt you or something like that? No. Like, whenever I go outside, though, like, I'll just get some wood, nothing happens, come back. Grass, usually, no way. Hmm. Does it mainly happen at night or day? Both. Both. Alright. Well... I won't count this as our first day so far. Um, I'm gonna head back to your RV. Come out, hear something. Of course, I'll rush over. Yes. Um, something bad happens. Cause I just come all over. I'm right across the street from you. Well, all right. right across. Thanks, Tom. Yep. God, what the fuck was that? Tom. Tom! Yo, I man. heard something in my room. I could hear you screaming all the way out here. And then there's lights like flickering on and off in there. But I think they stopped for some reason. Like they're, they're like just sticking on. Look, you see that? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I just I just heard something. Some lights are off, some lights are on. I don't know what's going on. It feels like the, like night or something. I'll have all the lights on. But it's hurry up in here. But the weird thing is, is the the attic lights on over there. I don't know if it's telling me to do something with the attic, but I heard it in here. Voice in my bedroom. Like it was seriously unusual. Like I never heard it before. Alright. Let me go up and check. Seriously, need to add some lights up here. I'll install some lights probably tomorrow. Tops. I don't, I don't hear nothing or see anything. You sure you didn't hear nothing? I swear, I can't be going crazy. I heard something. Alright. I trust you. Because this is the reason why I called you. I need you to, like, seriously to investigate this place. I don't really know what's going on. I'm freaked out. Let's just head back down. Alright, just sleep downstairs for tonight. Okay. Don't stay up here. I'll keep this light on up here. Alright. Right, stay downstairs. Alright. It's already 4 o'clock. I'll be back around here by AM. Alright? Alright, thanks. Alright. Bye. Bye. Hopefully he's okay sleeping in there. Hey, you home? Yeah, come in. Alright. So, anything happened this night? Well, no, I actually saw it purposely down here. Alright. Well, usually there's three stages of there's a ghost sighting, basically. One of the main sightings or the main things that happen is, you know, wind or like, you know, like your lights turning off. But the main stage, well, the first main stage usually turning things, basically moving objects, making noises, proving that they're here. The second one basically showing themselves, which you said they hasn't showed yet, right? No, they haven't showed yet. Alright. Well, I don't think they hit that step. The third step is possession. They take over your body, your body just completely collapses, you can't control anymore, and whatever it is it takes over, which is a very mean spirit, I should say. Alright. Which let's hope that doesn't happen. Oh yeah, I hope that doesn't happen either. So, I have to go. 
here soon because I have another case here. I'll be back at night. Well, hopefully earlier for that. Well, she said you're gonna install the cameras. Yeah, I was gonna install some cameras around here. I'm just only gonna install one for now. I'll put it upstairs because that's where you keep seeing the main action happens. Right. And we'll find out whatever's happening. All so, right. So uh, cool. I'm gonna go upstairs and install it. <clears throat> So Alright, I'll be down here. Hey. What the fuck was that? Did you turn on the light down here? Up here? No. Why? It's on. Oh, whoa. Should I come up? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I had the camera facing this way and it was dark. Alright, I'm gonna put one camera up. Let's see. Up here in the attic. Here, since here's another good corner. Alright. Alright. It pops up there soon. Like I said, I gotta go. Um, I'll watch the cameras. I'll watch it live because it'll be live to my computer. And I'll All come right. back when I have news or any of that. Alright. Alright then, well, bye. See ya. God damn it. I had a feeling he was it. Here I hit stage three. Hey! What? You motherfucker. It's been what a bad whole time. Whole time what? Don't play me that bullshit. You know what you built up there. Well, in the act? Yeah. I didn't build nothing up there. Alright. There's no way a spirit would ever skip step two. There's no way you already hit step, step three. What are you talking about steps? Step three. Possession. What I talked about yesterday. They take over the human body and the soul. What? You know what? Come here. Follow me. Stores open. How? About to find out. Hell no. What the f- What is this? That's another portal. A.K.A. the gateway to hell. Only a spirit can create that. Yeah, a spirit did, not me. Mm -hmm. And there must be something in you. Maybe when you were asleep, it attacked. How? I don't know. Maybe you're weakened. Maybe... I don't know. Well, how about you show me proof then on your computer? Alright then. Follow me. What the hell? Um... Dude, I think like, we're right about your... It's just turning morning. You still up? Yeah, I've been digging all night. That's what I found. What the fuck? I don't know, but I think his skull decayed or something, but his skull is on top of his grave. Yeah. I'm really tired, though, but... Here, go to my cabin. Go get some rest. Alright. What the hell is under here? Should you find something? Yeah. What's in it? Should we look at it? I, mean, I guess it's your property. What's in there? The flint and steel. I don't know why. Put it back. Uh, it's still in there. Cover this place up now. Why? That's the last possession stage. We need to get out of here now. Well, I'll cover it up as I can. You don't understand, do you? No, I don't. What's going on? The flame and steel is like the portal. Serious? Yes. Once that portal lights, hell may break loose. 
Well, yeah. Yeah. Go Marvy. Hey. Hey, what are you do? What the fuck? Hey, what are you doing? God damn it! Get back here, you son of a bitch! You're not opening that up. What did I tell you? Hey. here? Alex, where are you? Where the fuck is he? Fuck. You lit it. I gotta go and get him. Sorry this had to happen. I'm ready. Fuck. I got burned down his house. Fuck. Do you realize the job done? What the fuck is that? Alex? You just killed my youngling. She was part of my family. Oh my god. Shit. I was trying to save this world. I will follow you to your death. I gotta burn down this building now. You're not gonna let that happen. It's gonna burn with you. No, it hasn't. I am in his body. I am back to the world. Then I'll end you with it. No, you won't. Because you do not know the secret. Burn this place down now. I will kill you. Stay back. You can't stop Harrowbrine. Like how I killed your brother, Tim. No, you didn't. Yes, I have. You're a fucking liar. I am not lying. There's one way that I've heard in the myths. That's to burn your fucking soul. Your bones. <sighs> Fuck. See this house? Yes. Look at it this burn. House and here in a minute, you're gonna watch your fucking whole body burn. No! Don't! All it takes is one light, and your whole grave burns. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna be sacrificed with it. And that's the sacrifice I'm willing to take. Don't do it! I'm sorry this had to happen, Alex. Fuck this shit! No!